Hey everybody, Chris here. In this video, we're talking about Dogecoin and how many Doge do you have in your bag? Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. You can be notified when my new videos come out as well as when I do live streams. Yes, we were alive on Monday and we were talking about collecting Dogecoin. And we had this dip right here down below six cents to 595 and that's when i loaded up a big bag for the chris pax dc8 portfolio if you don't know what that is please be sure to tune into my next live stream wednesday five o'clock eastern time that's boston time united states that's where i am please check your times so you can be sure to log in and be there on youtube to watch the live stream we'll be talking about the portfolio, where it stands right now, how much more we're going to add, and how you can be part of the profits of that portfolio. And this was certainly when you do DCA, right? And you're supposed to be buying a little bit all the time. I just felt on Monday that when Doge dipped down to this level, I didn't know if we were going to see that level again. And I thought that's a good time to load up more. So we bought $2,000 worth of Doge, going over 33,000 Doge loaded into that portfolio right there. We still have $2,000 to go. That's going to be more DCA, I think. But we'll see what happens going forward with, with the price as we move forward. Certainly on, you know, the, here's the investing cube. Some people are still bearish on Dogecoin. Dogecoin is, price is in the midst of recovery as the Bitcoin price is trading above 26000 on Tuesday. Dogecoin has faced strong selling pressure in the past few weeks. And as I called out, that 599 was a buy point because we had hit it in June, we'd hit it in August, hit it again September, and there are enough buyers of Dogecoin to lift Doge's price back up. So selling pressure down, but buying pressure right there. So we're stuck in this in this channel here right now between six cents, six point four cents on the lower end of it right now. But that's kind of more tied to Bitcoin and whether Bitcoin staying above twenty five K was just above a little bit above twenty six K today, but is still sort of facing that pressure. Today's rebound in cryptocurrencies is a breath of fresh air for altcoin investors after weeks of downtrend. Yes, that's how we all felt uh, during the live stream and how we feel now, where the prices are a little bit more breathing room, but there's still some selling pressure. I'll get to that in a minute. On Tuesday, the crypto markets turned green as the Bitcoin price recovered after brief briefly dipping below 25K. That's when we saw Dogecoin again dip down to 595. Dogecoin also showed a positive price action was up 2%. Most other altcoins also were caught and the stablecoin market dominance decreased. So what are we waiting for? Well, we're waiting for X and, and uh, Dogecoin as payments on X. Part of that payment system, is that going to happen? How, where Elon Musk stands in that? That could take a while and so some people are kind of bearish about it right now so is this time to be accumulating and adding to your bags hmm dogecoin price prediction well we're still in this downward trend everyone always asks every live stream what do you think you know the price is going to be on this date or that date i've told you all of that what i think but it takes some catalysts to happen is there what doge one mission in november when is X going to have Dogecoin as some sort of payment mechanism? Those are the big things that are going to propel Dogecoin up. Without that, Doge is generally going to follow the crypto market. It's generally going to follow Bitcoin, the rest of the market, and what's going on. That's what we've seen. So if Bitcoin has a big rise because of an ETF approval or something like that, all of cryptos are going to rise with that. So... I'm not bearish about about Dogecoin any more than the rest of the crypto market right now. So, I mean, Doge isn't going to go on a big dump with the rest of the crypto market holding still. However, we still have this FTX liquidation. 
uh, planned for the 13th, or at least that is when um, the, the FTX holders or, or the, the creditors there think that they will now have access to all of those other coins that they could begin selling, liquidating, uh, in order to start setting in motion, paying off all of the other creditors of FTX. So Dogecoin is at a risk of breaking down from a long-term horizontal support. 50% disc decrease? No. Uh, weekly technical analysis for Doge shows a decisive bearish trend. That's what we've seen. But daily readings hint at potential bullish trend reversal. And despite this bearish Doge price prediction, breakout from the long-term triangle's resistance line will mean that the trend is still bullish. Yes, bullish longer term. So technical analysis not going to get into the whole descending triangle thing. We've seen that all on the charts. Strong, strong, strong 5.99 uh, uh, support there. That's what we've seen. So what's going on? Once we get through all of that stuff, uh, we are looking at here. What is going to be the trend reversal that is going to change Dogecoin's uh, position? And that's going to be this FTX liquidation. This could negatively impact the meme coins price. Exchange has a reported $42 million worth of assets in Dogecoin. These Dogecoin FTX holdings could potentially catalyze the breakdown if the liquidation occurs. That's a lot of Doge. They have a ton more Solana. They've got a ton more Bitcoin and Ethereum and Aptos. And we were talking about all, all of that that they have. If all of that is being sold too, that's going to be downward pressure across all the crypto market. We were, everyone was talking about this news yesterday. Well, what did Bitcoin do? Well, Bitcoin went up. So, so it's not all completely bearish, but Bitcoin right now struggling at 26K as I'm recording this, and Doge at 612 as I'm recording this. So we'll see, hey, look at the little Doge guy just showed up again. It's on trading view. Every once in a while, the little Doge, dancing Doge comes out. We caught it there. That's good. So in good news, we've got this Elon Musk biography. It was released today. That's right. And there are four mentions of Dogecoin in the book, which is found, uh, bah, 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 bah. I think it was here. So we've got, if you follow Little Human's Big Impact, she's awesome, big Doge fan, and uh, and here she is buying the book today. Got a picture of herself with the, with, with, with the Elon book there. Um, yes, a lot of Elon, a great, Great cover, SpaceX on the back, uh, big book, obviously. Uh, and we saw here that here are four mentions of Dogecoin within, within the book that someone did the search on. Everything else is blurred out because they don't give you those, those responses. But so that appears to be where uh, where Dogecoin is mentioned. So we know that now. Uh, one of them is this, the Cyber Rodeo is talked about. And this was you know, uh, where there were the drones that, that, that flew in patterns and they had a pattern of, of a Tesla, but then they also had uh, a Doge pattern that was made there. And that was pretty exciting when that happened. You know, this was over a year ago when that happened, but it's talked about in the book how that would be a cool thing that, that Elon would do to sort of support Dogecoin. So what does that mean going forward? Well, we you know, Dogecoin is still in the low six senses. So I saw this on Reddit, grabbed a quick small bag while we were at six cents. It all adds up. So that's what we're doing. We're talking about stacking, right? Here's the judicious stacking little video. Are you stacking? I continue to stack. Or is it more like this Tetris, right? Just continuing to stack Doge. Yes, hurry for the low goodies. So there are a lot of others as well who are stacking 
Dogecoin. So what does that mean in terms of Dogecoin bags? Well, I only buy in Doge what you're willing to risk. Again, it's cryptocurrency and there's always uh, there's always a chance something bad could happen. So always keep that in mind. Uh, only risk what you're willing to lose. Always say that. I'm not a financial advisor, but also how much Dogecoin you have all depends on your financial position. Just because somebody else might have 100,000 Doge, you shouldn't feel bad if you don't have 100,000 Doge going because you don't know what position that person is in compared to you financially. So everybody's at different levels. So you have what you think is enough for you. We could always use more Dogecoin though. So buy when you can, that's what I say. And then once we get into the bull market, we'll be talking about skimming, taking profits and all of that and how that could work going forward. Some of you are just diamond hands. You're just gonna hold forever. Well, uh, I think we learned a lot back in May, 2021 when we were diamond handing it and Dogecoin went up to 74 cents and then came crashing back down. And it was like, ah, should have sold a little bit of there little bit taking a little bit of profit so we'll be talking more about that but right now this is all about accumulating adding to your bags i've got millions of dogecoin myself but that's my position that's where i am would love to hear what you have for for dogecoin in your bags if you want to share the number or some people are proud of it but others may just say enough or not enough you want to add more let me know in the comments below give the video a like and if you haven't already uh, subscribed to my channel, please do. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.